Hey guys, Coach Kevin Neal here. So today, I just want to go over just some drills that I like for uh, a really special situation. As many of you know, a podcast power to the people. I do believe that kind of just compound exercises and kind of basic barbell training and basic strength training in general has a lot of benefits for a lot of different people. Uh, and while I don't necessarily believe that weightlifting has as many applica applications uh, outside of the sport of weightlifting as like the squat, the bench press, and the deadlift and its, and its variations. Um, there are a lot of coaches that do uh, implement weightlifting uh, in a safe manner. And it's very popular in collegiate athletics. So a lot of strength coaches for like football teams and all different types of field sports use weightlifting movements like the, uh, the, the clean, the jerk, and the snatch as a means of developing power. And kind of people can argue whether that's good or not, but my kind of stance is it's a tool like everything else, so if the athlete is able to do it proficiently, uh, and you're, I'm, not, I'm not very proficient at teaching it, but one thing that I like to do to prepare my athletes that I work with, if I have athletes that I train privately in my private gym, that I work with a separate strength coach in the school, my belief and my, my line of thinking is that I wanna prepare them to whatever physical challenges are ahead. So whether you agree with weightlifting as good or not, um, as, a, as a tool for developing power, like in my belief, I'd rather someone maybe just do some uh, explosive deadlifts, maybe some explosive box squats with a submaximal weight, and things like box jumps and things like that, throwing medicine balls. Those would be the tools I would use personally. That's my preference. I think that the risk and reward ratio is uh, in more in favor of, for the athlete, but it doesn't mean that weightlifting is bad inherently. So what I like to do is just kind of show some things and how I would approach teaching these movements. And again, I'm not very proficient at them, but what we want to do is make sure our athletes are prepared for whatever physical challenges are ahead of them. And part of that uh, is their strength program. So when they're not with me, these are kind of some drills that I use to prepare our athletes uh, for a college strength program. So let's check this out. So we're gonna kind of assume the athlete already knows how to do uh, some sort of deadlift, some sort of hinging movement, and some sort of squatting movement. And from there, once they kind of mastered some sort of hinge, like an RDL, and some sort of squatting movement, then we can start to kind of implement uh, drills to help uh, teach the athlete the right, the, the optimal positions for catching a clean and catching a snatch and things like that, and depending on the program. So the first thing that we do, I like to do some complexes. So we're gonna come here, and if you can learn, if you are proficient in teaching the hook grip, that's great. So obviously we talked about the Romanian deadlift, learning to hinge with the hips, sliding the bar down the thighs, gonna be the first thing. And from there, we're just gonna learn a clean pull. And I like to kind of do like a catapult technique or you know, some people argue if that's good or not. I kind of learned that from Travis Mash. So once I, I can just deadlift the first one from the floor and then I can just work on extending my hips. So we call that triple extensions, so ankles, knees, and hips explode up. And then from there, we can just work on some hand cleans. So I'm not that very flexible, so I'm gonna go a little wider. And then I'm gonna catch there. So I'm gonna do a pull. I could do a few pulls, and then I could do a few hand cleans. And again, I'm not very flexible, and I'm also not warmed up. And again, my mechanics are not perfect. So from here, I can just also now work on front squats. And ideally, I'd like my elbows to be up a little bit higher. So I could do something like three RDLs, three pulls, three cleans, three front squats. And I could do the same thing for some sort of snatch as well. I would work on uh, snatch grip RDL, snatch grip pull, snatch grip uh, uh, hang snatch, and then front and then overhead squats. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take my grip out a little wider. So I can do the snatch RDL, snatch pull.
hang snatch. Always check your surroundings. And then overhead squats. And then from here, I can work on the full lift from the floor if I like. And then what you can do is also work on pulls from the ground and then go into the, like, the hang and that sort of thing. So you can work on just pulls from the ground, like a halting deadlift. And then eventually you can do the full lifts of each. So I can do a hand clean, a regular full clean, and then Now, jerk is something I'm definitely not really professional in, but obviously, in terms of the jerk, first I would just start off with a regular first straight press and then a push press, then a push jerk, and then eventually. Yeah, I'm not a proficientist, but then eventually you can kind of do a split jerk. Dip, and then drive. So again, I give you a strict press, push press, into a push jerk. And then eventually I can put everything together. into a clean and jerk, if I'd like. So, my personal preference would be more box jumps, more explosive pulls or explosive deadlifts, uh, speed box squats, but if you are somebody that trains uh, collegiate athletes or uh, you're in a situation where you have a son or daughter that's gonna be in a collegiate training program, this is how I introduce the weightlifting movements. Keep the reps low, keep the amount of sets high, Keep them submaximal, keep them explosive. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, stay strong, and we'll see you soon.